welcome to us mix youtube channel today is we will discuss about science and technology for the month of april 2018 uh, the today's first topics of science and technology is new exotic state matter found far below freezing a team of researcher has presented a new exotic uh, state of matter found far below freezing in the journal physical review letters as on february 26 2018 the theoretical work was done at TU in Vienna and Harvard University. The experiment was performed at Rice University in Houston, Texas. This is the picture of the exotic state of the matter. And uh, this is the red barge uh, polarons, the state of matter named red barge polarons. It basically involves making use of space between the electron and the nucleus inside an atom enough to fit other atoms inside the average distance between the electron and its nucleus can be as large as several hundred nanometers that is more than a thousand times the radius of a hydrogen atom it can only be detected at extremely low temperature but um, it could allow for some rather ex exciting physics in the future Next, uh, science and technology related topics is agriculture, environment, and ecology. The first topics of science and technology of agriculture, environment, and ecology is India's first wind turbine generator installed. Sujilan Group, India's largest renewable energy solution provider, has announced the installation and commissioning of the new product 5128, the largest wind turbine generator WTG in India, on March 13, 2018. It is designed to optim optimally harmless wind resources at high higher altitudes, making low wind sites viable. Specialties: uh, the S128 wind turbine generator features in that uh, the time-tested double fit in induction generator DFIG technology. It also consists the country's largest rotor blade measuring 63 meters and has a rotor diameter of 128 meters the sb 63 blade has been engineered and developed by sojilon utilizing carbon fiber which provides the capability to utilize thinner aerodynamic profiles that this technology provides exactly performance in low wind sites the s128 series offering 33 percent more swift area 1 12,000 860 and it is expected to deliver 32% more energy generation compared to the S111. The first prototype of 500 5128 has been commissioned at the Sanganari site in Tamil Nadu, testing the underway the certification expected in Q3 of calendar year 2018, CY 2018. The next topics of the science technology is uh, new spe new species of butterfly discovered. A new species of Himalayan moth named Eucyclodus uh, gavisima has been discovered in uh, Papikonda National Park. This was announced by Anand, Sar Anand Sankar, Divisional Forest Officer Wildlife, during the valley uh, valedictory of a three days workshop on butterflies by AP Forest Development Department, Wildlife Management, Raja Mahan Dravadharam, uh, Dra, uh, Dravaram on March 10, 2018. This is the picture of this new species of butterfly named Eucyclodes gavisima. In the first two days, the of the, uh, the in the first two days of the field visit the team identified around 60 varieties of butterflies and 30 species of moths india ha india has 1318 known variety of butterflies and most of them still need to be studied further uh, the next topics of the science and technology is uh, treat of new malware suppose he loomed over cyberspace after M mirai and deeper a new thread loomed large on the horizon of cyberspace as a, as on march 6 2018 cyber security agencies have detected this new malware 
named uh, suppose see the CERT has not yet issued any alert regarding suppose see, alerts and guidelines are protected de uh, protective devices from suppose are likely to be issued in the days of to come this is the uh, picture of this uh, attack and uh, what to do control server this is the boot data and internet and all this about what are the about the suppose uh, malware it is capable uh, taking over electronic devices and turning them into boots which can be which can be then used for any purpose including distributed denial of the surface attack which which with any enough uh, fire fire power can cripple entire dis industries it was detected in february 2018 and is currently being watched in uh, watched and studied suppose it is similar in its in intent city to repair which was taking over millions of devices at the rate of 10,000 devices per day. Various cyber security agencies are currently keeping labs on it to get a better idea of what, what it is capable of. In October 2017, the Computer Emergency Response Team CERT, a central government body that, that deals with cyber attacks, had issued an alert about repair. A highly involved malware capable of not only hacking devices like Wi-Fi routers and security cameras but also able to hide its own presence in the boot a device taken over by a malware. Next topic is researchers develop a thermo thermoelectric compound. The researchers at Bangalore Journal Nehru Center of Adver Advanced Scientific Research uh, Development Development Novel Compound named Silver Copper Industries AGCUTE that exhibits poor thermal conductivity in the 25 or to 425 degrees Celsius range but shows good in a good electrical conductivity. The result were was published in the journal Ag Ag Anguanti Chemi as on March 3, 2018. About the compound, the compound AGCUTE. This is the chemical name of uh, this is the compound AG AGCUTE. So, its promise of the thermoelectric material for converting waste heat into the into 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 electricity. Due to low thermal conductivity of the material, one end of the rod that is contact with the waste of the heat remains hot, while the other other end maintains cold temperature. As it is the process, nearly 65% of utilized energy is wasted as heat. The temperature differences is essential for the generation of the electric voltage at the same time this material exhibits good electric conductivity like metal. And the next topic is the science and technology is the three new species found, Bay of, uh, found in Bay of, Bay of Bengal. The scientist was dis has discovered three uh, three new species uh, of eel among along the North Bengal of uh, Beng North Bay of Bengal coast in the past few months. A, a description of all the three new species was published in journal Jutaxa Jutaxa as on February 11, 2018. <clears throat> Anil Mohapatra, a geological survey of, survey of India scientist uh, scientist. Uh, uh, is be is behind all of the three discoveries. Scientists has uh, scientists and researchers David J. Smith, uh, Subhendu Sarukshekar Misro, Saurabh Rajan Mohanty, Dipanjan Ray, and Prasad C. Tudu has been contributed to these discoveries. About the discoveries, Gaimothorax uh, pseudotile was discovered at the di at at the Diha coast of the Bay of Bengal. Zymothorax cytotile is about 1 feet to 1.5 feet long. It has dark brown with white dots on the dorsal side. The other two species, Gymothorax visacarnesis and N. chilocor proniquia were discovered for the Visakapatram coast on the, of the Bay of Bengal. Hymothorax uh, visakhanesis is about a foot long. It is uniformly brown. Uh, Encycor uh, pronica is the smallest of the measuring less than a foot. It is uh, it is reddish brown. Earlier discoveries with these new discoveries, the Bay of Bengal coast has yielded at least five new species of the eel. In 2016, Mr. Mohapatra and his team identified 
Jibothorax in, in, in discus and edible species. In 2015, a short brown unpatterned more ill named Gymothorax. Uh, Mm, Gymothorax misari Bengal of um, ill was discovered from the coast of the Bay of Bengal. Chilka Lake, the next topic is Chilka Lake became the largest habitat, largest uh, habitat of Edwardi dolphins in the world with uh, the spotting of 155 such animals. The finding is. Um, based on preliminary report of uh, the first annual monitoring of the lake held on february 24 2018 this is a picture of the dolphin more than the annual monitoring report the annual monitoring was conducted by the chilka development authority cda to the count the number of marine mammals and study of hydro hydrological impacts and the removal of pain culture locally known as is the number is more compared to the 2017 figure of around 100 dolphins during the annual census the dolphin are now uh, seen in in different sectors of the lake where they were not seen before due to the removal of obstruction for their migration the result of the monitoring are being analyzed by plotting and local uh, locational gps no new species in identified during the during monitoring the next topic is a new plant species from West Bengal named after former President Abdul Kalam. Scientists from the Botanical Survey of India have identified new plant species named Dry Pitis Kalami from new protected, uh, protected national parks that is Boxa National Park, core area of Boxa Tiger Reserve and Jaldapara National Park of West Bengal. This new plant has been named after the former Prime Minister a former prior president of India, Abdul Kalam, APJ Abdul Kalam. This um, this findings has been published in the journal Phyt Phytotaxa on, on February 25, 2018. More about the discovery. Dr. K. Kadia Gyan, scientist at, at BSI and correspondent in Botanical Survey of India and corresponding author of the of the work has said the new species is a is a close relative of a medi, uh, medic medical uh, medical plant known in sanskrit as put uh, it is a small serp found to be shorter version of this close relative the drypetes elisi Standing ju just one meter tall, the newly described plant is unisexual in nature, which means they have separate male and female plants. The new species is found in wet, shaded areas of subtropical, moist, semi evergreen, evergreen forest at a height ranging 50 to 100 meters, with pale yellow flowers in cluster and bright orange to red fruits. This planned exclusively to the two national parks by the following IUCN International Union of Conservation of Nature rules. The scientists have professionally assessed the plant to be critically endangered. Now the next topics of the science are related with space. Astronomers detected for first time light from very first stars universe. A team of astronomers, including an Indian graduate student, Nivedita Mahesh, from Arizona State University, have discovered for the first time signals from cosmic dawn. The findings by the team led by the Jude Bowman, a astronomer of Arizona State University in in Tempe, published in journal uh, journal published in journal Nature of on February 28, 2020, uh, 2018. This is a picture of the astronomer detected the first light from the very first star of universe. The findings revealed that the first stars were born uh, around 13.62 billion years ago in what astronomer called cosmic dawn. When the whole universe was ours uh, with ultraviolet rays, and first uh, stellar death explosions in supernova in, for, in uh, formation of stellar black holes 
took space around 13.55 billion ago million billion years ago more about the discovery more about the, this discovery these findings made a significant breakthrough in the understanding of the evolution of the cosmos the researchers used a table top sized radio telescope called experiment to detect the global epoch and reorganization signature edges based on the uh, murchison radio astronomer observatory in the middle of western australian desert located far from cell phone towers television and fm radio signals this is one of the best radio quiet places in the world edges could capture faint signals from the other researchers of the universe after the strenuous research researchers found the deep just 1.1% drop in the radiation at the roughly the frequency they expected the discovery if confirmed phys physics says could upturn their knowledge to the nature of, to, of steel elusive dark matter next the topics of the uh, topics of the space is the nasa launches advanced weather satellite for western us nasa launches goes is satellite satellite one of the world's most advanced weather satellites on march 1 2018 on save, uh, to safeguard the western us the goes is satellite launch launched in the orbit aboard an atlas v rocket from cape and a very viral air force station beside the west coast alaska and hawaii goes is uh, also will keep watch over mexico and central america goes is the second satellite it is made with approximately 11 billion dollar with the with this induction goes service is now coming to the pacific region it will become goes 17 once it reaches its uh, intended 12000 mile high orbit over the equator in few weeks and should be officially operational by year's end about the goes this spacecraft in the series goes 16 has been monitoring the atlantic and east coast for the for the past one year national oceanic and atmospheric administration the satellite revolutionary forecast with the aster astronomizing fast creeps and images hurricanes wildfires floods mud slides and other natural calamities this uh, with these two new satellites noaa is high definition coverage with stretch from the atlantic near west america africa a hotbed for hurricane informa- formation all the way across the us and pacific out to new zealand now the and next topics of science and technology related with defense and security the first defense and security related science and technology topics is iafs largest transport aircraft c17 globe master made historic landing the indian air force iaf largest transport aircraft c17 globe globe master made a historic landing at arunachal pradesh starting tuting uh, advanced landing ground alg near chinese border on march 13 2018 this is the picture of landing iaf history club must history landing at tuting advanced landing ground in arunachal pradesh the landing of the aircraft is seen as part of the iaf's iaf's move to strengthen its overall operational in the uh, strategically important border state after the trial landing the Mammoth RC-17 carried out the operational mission air air lifting 18 tons of load into the airfield about the AVC-17 Globemaster. It is a US manufactured aircraft named after two previous piston engine military cargo aircraft the Douglas C-74 Globemaster and Douglas 124 Globemaster 2. It has delivered cargo in every worldwide operation since the 1990s. It was designed to replace the Lockheed C-141 Star Lifter and also fulfill some of the duties of the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, freeing the C-5 fleet for outsized cargo. 
it was commonly used to perform strategically character missions, transport loops and cargo throughout the world, additional roles including the medical evacuation and air duties. The, they are operated in, in diverse terrain from the Himalayan airways of North India at 13,000 feet to Indian Ocean ways in South India. Maximum payload of the C-17 is 17,179. 100 pounds that means 170900 pounds that is 77500 kg and its maximum takeoff weight 585000 pounds that is 22 26 lakh 265000 kg it is 174 feet long has wingspan of about 170 feet 52 meter the size of the weight of the U.S. mechanized firepower and equipment have grown in recent decades for the increased air mobility requirement, particularly for large or heavy non uh, penalized outside cargo. The cargo floor has uh, rollers for palletized cargo. It is has been flipped to provide a flat floor suitable for vehicle and other rolling stock. The cargo comp compartment is 88 feet 27 meter long by 18 feet 5.5 meter wide by 12 feet 4 inches 3.66 meter high <sighs> that is the topic the next topic is Russia test fired ideal hyper ideal hypersonic missile a a mig 31 uh, fighter crew of the Russian aerospace forces has made a training launches of the hy hypersonic missile of the in high, high, high precision air missile system on March 11, 2018, the MiG-31 de departed from the airfield, airfield in the southern military district in Russia's with southwest within the framework of the testing air, air alert. This is the picture. This is the picture of the Asia Stafford ideal. The Kinjail a system which has been Russian is intended destruction of the surface and water boom targets the Kinjal missile has, can fly 10 times speed 10 times speed uh, speed of the sound can overcome air air defense systems it has also range 2000 km the missile can overcome air defense systems President Vladimir Putin branded the this hypersonic missile as an ideal weapon he added that the missile has been deployed in the South Military District from December 1, 2017, Russian Deputy, Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin said that the MiG-31 supersonic jet that will carry the missile has also modernized. India's first coastal, coastal policing academy set up in Gujarat. The Union Home Minister on March 11, 2018 sanctioned the, the launch of the National Academy of Coastal Policing NSCP from the campus of Gujarat Fisheries Research Center located in coastal Lokla, Oka in the newly created Devbhumi Dwarka district. Threats of two coastal security was magnified during 16 by 11 terror attacks that is November 2008. This is a picture of the this is the first of the kind institution of the country. It has created the run by the multi-agency team, parliamentary defense forces, and second the response and skills of the marine forces of multiple states which have, have sea lines. It will start functioning from the month of month of April 2018 along with the Gujarat Sea Fort. Functioning of NSCP. The Union Ministry, Home Ministry, Policing Think Tank, the Bureau of Police Research and Development BR, BPRD will, plot, will pilot the establishment of running the academy, the border security for BSF that guards the Indian frontier in Gujarat with Pakistan, the Navy and Coast Guard will form the core to run the academy. The BSF will also provide security to the campus which the Arabian Sea Coast and and is at a flying distance from the Pakistan coast. The Navy and the Coast Guard will help design the training curriculum providing skilled trainers and ensuring access to jetties and boats for the trainees of the academy. The Home Ministry has directed Gujarat government to provide two inter 
chapter boards to uh, to the academy and that are stationed by the okla for patrolling of the sea by the marine unit of the uh, state police the academy will have faculty from the navy coast guard and the bsf the academy will run temporarily temporarily for about 3 years for the fisheries department campus at oka at the in the meantime the new permanent campus will be created for the academy in the bhumi dwarka district now the next topics is the first ever multinational level exercise at sea held in andaman then the first ever multinational naval exercise sea call mi LES miles 18 held from March 11 to 14 2018 in Andaman Sea 11 sea for foreign naval ships and 6 Indian ships are participating in this event the exercise is conducted as part of the 10th edition of Milan the exercise will enhance interoperability it will also enable horning of a search and rescue operation procedures wherein interdiction operation core operation skills and exercise of a variety of maritime scenarios more of uh, the milan 2018 it was it is the 10th edition of the biennial event milan had that conducted from 1995 the milan is an organization of navies of several countries organized by the indian navy at the andaman and nicobar island And under the aegis uh, of the indian andaman and nicobar command the expanded regional cooperation and the combat unlawful activities is real critical sea lens in the indian ocean region milan 2018 is conducted theme of milan 2018 is friendship across the seas very good and the total 28 warships including 17 Uh, 28 uh, 28 warships including 17 from india and 11 from australia bangladesh indonesia malaysia myanmar singapore sri lanka and thailand participate in this milan 2018 now the next topic is ifs first composite uh, hdr air, air exercise held in south asia in association with south asian regions nations the first humanitarian assistance and disaster relief hdr exercise of the indian air force iaf named some some vedana held off the coast of kerala from march 12 to 27 uh, march 12 to 17 2018 the multilateral exercise had involved representatives from air force of sri lanka bangladesh nepal and the uae detail notes sambedhana which means empathy was focused on participating uh, practicing uh, air force in eccentric uh, air force intensive hdr solutions in a multinational cooperative disaster management environment the objective of exercise was uh, galvanize and all stakeholders of of synergizing i uh, unified hdr efforts the board format of the exercise include a ground training and flying exercise the entire setting of the exercise were based on a scenario of the tsunami in the western coast of india organized organizing from the earthquake to makar subduction zone makaran uh, subduction zone and resulting in post tsunami disaster management along with western coast and western island of india the exercise uh, is the exercise spearheaded by the uh, by iaf conducted by southern air command ssc ensured better understanding and sharing of response procedure between the, the number of friendly neighboring nations the first day of exercise was dedicated towards pre exercise ground training with an aim of getting all participants on common platform the table top exercise on march 13 to march uh, 14 was aimed at setting up a scenario of pre and post tsunami disaster requirements and guide participants to work out air force centric hdr solutions flying cum field training exercise on march 15 and march 16 were conducted from the dispersal area of air force station trivandrum to practice a fly, flying or field activities undertaken by air forces towards hdr under controlled conditions 
Now the next topic is Israel and U.S. organize Juniper Cobra exercise for counter missile threats. U.S. and Israel military officials have launched a month-long joint military drill named Juniper Cobra 2018 drill with uh, that stimulus of missile attacks on Tel Aviv. The drill is said to be the largest joint combat exercise between the two states. The drill served as an opportunity for Israel troops to enhance operational capabilities in the face of high tra trajectory tra threats. About 2,500 2, soldiers including 1,400 1, marines and 1,100 1, naval personnel from the U.S. European Command, EU, e, US, EU, COM, along with 2,000 Israel aerial defense troops, logistics and units and other Israel defense forces IDF units are deployed in Israel to take part in Juniper Cobra 2018 drill. In addition, two U.S. Navy vessels arrived in Israel to take part in the exercise. The force of the two countries performed to, uh, simulate, uh, simulations of missile threat scenarios including testing of the anti-blasting missile system arrow, the iron dome anti-rocket system, the medium-range interceptor Patriot missile system and David's ceiling which is designed to shoot down mid-range missiles launched by Hezbollah in Lebanon, Jupiter Cobra was started in 2001 and conducted, conducted in every two years. Tension between Israel and Lebanon in February 2018 relations between Israel and Lebanon deteriorated due to Israel's plans to build wall along Lebanon's south border, southern border as well as over the eastern Mediterranean gas field. Lebanese authorities described the move as a directed threat to stability, urging its neighbor to stop construction, construction with Lebanese, Lebanese General Joseph on warning that the country's army would use very possible means to, com to com comfort potential Israeli aggression no matter what, what that cost may be. A Hajibul official threatened to open new front against Israeli in Tel Aviv continues to largest Syria and Gaza strip, strip in early February 2018. The next topic is India US team test fired M777 ultra light how is in Pokhran. A group of officials from India and United States test fired M777 ultra light Ojers uh, uh, at the Pokhran firing range on March 5, 2018, in the wake of accident, accident during its trial in September 2017. The result of the test will be examined by the joint team of experts. About the M777 Voyager, the, in May 2017, the Army took delivery of two M777 ultralight Voyagers made by the BAE Systems US under the contract signed by 2016. In September 2017, during the trial firing, a projectile had burst in the barrel. M777 weighs around 4,200 4, kg. It is usually built titanium and aluminium alloys. It has a modular design due to which it can be easily towed, uh, thorough, narrow, and texture is mountain road prevalent along India China border and India Pakistan border in Jammu and Kashmir. The next topic is India Navy. Con uh, Indian Navy <coughs> concluded grueling two months long way war games in or. E N C O R E N C O. The never uh, the Indian naval Indian Navy conducted a grueling two months uh, long way game of February 2000 to 28 2018. The war game were for the first the, of the kind of the conducted on both sea boats in indicative of the Navy's threat perceptions of two front war. About the war game, uh, the extensive war games saw in the participation of the operational ships, submarines and aircrafts of the Navy along with main equipped of the Army. All types of aircraft of the Air Force and ships are air, aircraft of the Coast Guard. The war, the war games um, conducted 
on the seaboards of India extended from the northern Arabian Sea and coast of Gujarat and southern Indian Ocean of, of, of Sunda Straits near Indonesia. The war game on the eastern seaboard was codenamed ENORE Eastern Naval Command Operational Readiness Exercise. That is in the short code ENCOR Eastern Naval Command Operational Readiness Exercise. And on the next on the western seaboard in the code name was exercise Pashim Lehar. The next topic is Japan Navy appointed Ra Raiko Aju Ajuma as first female chief of warship unit. Raiko Ajuma, the Japanese the Japanese Navy for the first time appointed woman Ra Raiko Ajuma as commander of the unit uh, uh, of the of a unit that includes the country's biggest warship on March 6, 2018. She was command of the for the four warships making up division of the total 1,000 crew members, the ship included the helicopters carrier uh, Lejuma uh, carrier, uh, Lejuma, the Navy's biggest ship. This is a picture of Raiko Ajuma. Women's participation in Japan's self-defense, self-defense uh, uh, self forces. About 14,000 women are currently serving in the self-defense forces as military in known as account, uh, is known, accounting for only 6% of the entire personnel. On most levels, Japan lags behind other developed countries in terms of sexual equality. In po in po <coughs> In politics, women are still under-requested with only 47 of the 400, uh, 465 members of the lower house. According to the statistics compiled by the Swiss-based Interparliamentary Union, Swiss-based Interparliamentary Union, this ratio of 10.1 places Japan below Myanmar and Gambia. The next topic is Bharti Defense delivered C-162 Coast Guard. Bharti Defense and Infrastructure Limited BDIL Mangalore delivered interceptor board C162 to the Indian Coast Guard on the on its premises Mangalore on March 1, 2018. C162 was launched on January 31 BDIL at BDIL with within 18, 28 days. The vessel completed harbor and sea trail successfully achieving speeds more than the contractual limit of 35 knots. More about facts. Uh, more facts about C162. C162 is the sixth in the series of 15, 15 high-speed interceptor boats being pro, uh, pro, uh, procured by the ICG. To be based on ICG's coaches unit, the vessel would commanded by Deputy Commandant Pawan Kovar, while Deputy Commandant Susan Desmukh was from Coast Guard refit. And production team Goa is project is the project officer for the series of vessels. The 28 meter long vessels has an aluminium hull, weights about 60 dead weights, tongue DWT, and is designed for speeds up to 35 knots. It is fitted with a new generation of Arneson surface drive propulsion system and it is propelled by two engines of 1,650 kilowatt each. The vessel can accommodate 11 crew and deployed mainly for patrolling purposes. The next topic is India successfully test for ATGM NAG in desert condition. India successfully test for Agni, Agni tank guided missiles ATGM NAG against two tank targets at different ranges and timings on February 28, 2018 in desert conditions. The ATGM NAG was tested at Pokhran's field firing range in Jaisalmi district. More about NAG, the NAG ATGM has been developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. The fire and forget the fire and forget third generation ATGM NAG 3 uh, 3 is incorporated uh, with many advanced technologies including the imaging infrared IIR 
seeker and integrated avionics the capabilities which is possessed by few nations in the world highly uh, highly sensitive detectors have been put in the missile for sensing heat or infrared signals it is known that last trials of fire and forget third generation atgm nag were in conducted on june 13 2017 at pokhran field firing range in joysalmir which is missile successfully hit the targets director Ge general missiles of strategic Ge system g satish satish reddy said the technologies pertaining to atgm to engage targets in different condition have been established uh, established the established successfully tests with these development trials of the missiles have been completed and in now ready to ready for induction next topic is government started process to build india's first defense squad the defense ministry has started this the process on february 7 27 20, 2018 to set up country's first defense industrial con corridor to promote industrial manufacturing weapons and military equipment the corridor dawn of as quad or quadrilateral corridor will connect chennai hosur hosur coimbatore uh, salem and tiruchirappalli the ministry is finalizing the board contours of the project related facts my finance ministry minister arun jetli had announced in his budget speech that two defense industrial production corridors will set up in the country to promote domestic defense industry prime minister narendra modi earlier said the defense industrial corridor will come up in the bundelkhand region which which he said will bring as investment of rupees to the 20000 crore the idea behind setting up defense industrial corridor was to ensure connectivity among various defense industrial units and the next topic is indian army contributed 2300 personnel for un peacekeeping mission in south sudan about 2000 about 2300 indian army personnel from the infantry battalion of garwal rifle regiment joined the un peacekeeping mission in south sudan the war torn african african country the the unit will be operational control of the sensitivity jungle states india is the is the largest cumulative troop co uh, contributor the having pro having provided almost 2 lakh troops in near in nearly 50 of 71 us un peacekeeping missions over the past 6 decades including 13 13 of the current 16 missions last year a total of 7606 indian peacekeeping peacekeepers were deployed in the un missions the next topic is DRDO successfully carried out the test flight of indigenous system to drone. Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO successfully flew its system to at its aeronautical test range at Ch Chalakari at Chitra Durga district of Karnataka on February 25, 2018. It comes seven years after first flight of Rustam 1 took place on the November 16, 2009 at the Tanija Airspace Air Indian at Hoshar. Rustam 2 is the this is the picture of this Rustam 2. Rustam 2 was also known as TAPSVH201. Is a medium altitude long endurance un, unmanned aerial vehicle. The combat aerial vehicle can conduct sustained surveillance can and carry and can carry weapons along the surveillance equipment it has capable of flying of for 24 hours at a stretch it has been deployed <coughs> developed by the india and on on the lines of american predator drones which are used by the united states states air force usaf and central intelligence agency cia not just for aerial reconnaissance but also for offensive operations the development as, assumes significance as this is as this is the first flight in the user con configuration with the higher power engine all parameters are normal and that's it for today thank you for watching us mix